So Gorilla Glass is known for making displays for devices that are rock solid in terms of their scratch resistance. But they're coming out with something that's three times as strong and also it's going to require a lot more force for you to do any damage. We're going to give you a walkthrough of what it really takes to make something that's a lot more durable than other things on the market. What so, we want to show you here is a competitive glass. This is the competitive glass one with a seven Newton scratch uh -huh. on it. Okay. The scratch is right there in the center. Okay. We put this fixture into, into this holder. Right. Um, and I'm going to release a ball. This is a sorry. This is a stainless steel ball. It's a 130 gram ball. Yep. It's an industry standard test mm -hmm. for ball drop. Right. Okay. I'll release the ball onto the glass. And you see that the glass shatters. Now this is this is a competitor. This is right? a competitive glass. This is right. a chemically strengthened glass. Mm -hmm. No worries. This is a chemically strengthened glass from the competition. Right. Okay. Not so but, strong. But with a seven newton scratch, which right. is basically this scratch that you see over here, right. with all the lateral chipping, you can see that the strength has been se severely compromised. Sure. Okay? Um, and then with your own, we'll take Gorilla Three here mm -hmm. and do the same demo again with Gorilla Three. See that the glass doesn't break. Right. Okay. Right. That's great. So that had the seven newton scratch in it as well. The scratch is hardly visible because it hasn't formed those lateral chips, mm -hmm. and the glass doesn't break. That's okay. great. What we'll do now is we'll raise this platform mm -hmm. by a factor of three. Right. Okay. If we raise the platform by a factor of three, that means that there's three times more impact energy right. at the point of contact. Okay. And just to show you what happens there, I'll take a piece of metal. This is a piece of aluminium, just 0.8 millimeters thick, same thickness as the glass, okay? And we'll just let the ball plunge down to the, uh, to the piece of metal. Right. Okay? And as I pull this out, you can see that the metal's been severely dented there, right? You can see right. all the reflection of the... So it does that to metal, but can Gorilla Glass stand up to the same amount of pressure and force? That's, that's exactly right. That's what we want to see there. So, we'll take Gorilla Glass 3. Right. Again, it's got a 7 Newton scratch in the glass. Stick that into this fixture. Pull the pin. And it took two bounces. It took two bounces, the glass doesn't break. Wow. Okay. That's great. And not only that, we'll now take this glass off this fixture. This is the same glass that went through two bounces. We'll put it into this lever press over here. Okay. And you can apply a specific amount of pressure, right? I'll apply pressure, I'll apply a load to the glass. This gauge over here is gonna tell us how much load I'm applying. Uh -huh. This is in pounds. So I'm now applying a hundred pounds to the glass. Wow, okay. okay. And the glass still hasn't been damaged. So there's a little bit of a divot, but it's certainly not cracking or breaking. No, this divot that you see is actually on this plastic film. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, that's so the film, got... but not the glass. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. The glass is perfectly fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. And this will be coming to devices maybe the second quarter of 2013? At some point in 2013, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully the second quarter in 2013. It's certainly in design and activities right now. Uh -huh. with, and uh, and with for phones OEM. and tablets? That's correct. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, we can't wait to see it in real-world products. Thanks for your time.